So this slide contains some studies that have been done on Muslim kids being bullied in school. Um, as you can tell from the report, it's quite shocking uh, that this many kids that these many kids um, are being bullied for being Muslims, basically. Uh, so I'm just going to go over the numbers really quickly, uh, just so we have an idea, because there's some sort of doubt among some people, uh, particularly among Islamophobes, that this is not happening. But this is definitely happening in our schools, and the political climate is impacting why these kids are being bullied and picked on. So here we go. 53% uh, of Muslim students have experienced religiously based bullying in school in California. This was a study that was done by CARE, by the way. Uh, nearly twice the national average, 53%. This is the twice the national average. Um, verbal bullying was reported to be the most dominant form of bullying. Uh, reported by Muslim students at 52% of Muslim kids who were bullied said that most of the time it was um, verbal bullying. Um, from 2014 to 2017, rates of Muslim adolescents reporting physical harassment and assault jumped from 9% to 19%. That's a huge jump. In a survey of California Muslim students, again, this is a study by CARE, 38% of the bullying incidents involved a teacher or school official. So can you believe that? That 38% of the bullying occurred at the hands of a teacher or a school official. I mean, these guys are supposed to protect the kids. They're not supposed to participate in the bullying or be the bullies themselves. So 38% of kids are basically saying that my teacher or school official picked on me because of being Muslim. So that's really terrible and we have to do something about it. Only 32% of youth in a California service said reporting a bullying problem to an adult made a difference. So I want, I want us to pay attention to this. 32%. That's a really low number. So majority did not get the help that they needed or wanted. And this is why kids are afraid to speak out. They are afraid to tell someone. They are afraid to get adults involved because they don't trust them. They don't trust that they will help them end the bullying or end the situation. So out of fear, they just take the bullying and not do anything about it. So this is something we need to pay attention as a community. From 2014 to 2017, rates of California Muslim students who reported being victims of cyberbullying jumped from 19% to 26%. And more than half, about 57%, also report viewing their peers making offensive online posts about Islam or Muslims. So let's think about that and ponder over these statistics for a while. If you are interested in the sources, I have them listed in the more information box in this video. So you can go there to find out, down to download the report where all the statistics are listed, as well as the sources of where they came from and what studies were done.